a limo driver crashes, kills 20 people. Former upstate limousine company operator, Mr. Newman Hussein was hit with the maximum sentence two weeks after jury convicted him of 20 counts of second degree manslaughter for his role in the horrific October crash in 2018 that killed 20 human beings. He will spend between five to 15 years behind bars because that is the max given the second degree nature of the charge. The incident also forced lawmakers to pass more legislation surrounding limo safety requirements and restrictions. I'm going to give you the background. The group of friends had rented the 31 foot stretch limo, a modified 2001 Ford excursion. They rented it from a company called Prestige Limousine and Chauffeur Service to attend a surprise birthday party near Cooperstown. But the limo's brakes failed and it careened through an intersection. The vehicle slammed into a convenience store, killing two bystanders and the driver. Prosecutors said Hussein, who ran Prestige Limousine at the time of the crash, was completely aware. He knew the brakes were faulty and still decided to allow the limo to be rented out. The National Transportation Safety Board said the limo company's egregious disregard for safety led to the brake failure and the crash. The vehicle reached a speed of more than 100 miles per hour on the steep hill before it crashed. The NTSB also blamed poor oversight by the state transportation department. It said that the transportation department's oversight was ineffective and that it knew of prestigious multiple out of service violations. The department also failed to properly register the limo, which allowed the company to evade safety and inspection requirements, it said. However, defense lawyers argued that local auto repair shop and State Department of Transportation inspectors should shoulder the blame, and I agree with them. But the jury agreed with the prosecution, finding Hussein guilty after just six hours of deliberations on May 17th. He previously cut a plea deal with prosecutors in 2021 that would have allowed him to avoid jail time. But a judge threw out the deal and ordered that the case go to trial. There's a point made by the defense attorney, that's true. Basically, this is contributory negligence. This individual contributed due to negligence to the eventual outcome of the death of these 20 people. But the same theory that connects him to these deaths also connects the government for not doing their jobs. And they actually had a duty to do so just as he did as a business owner. We'll see if this develops into more wise thoughts here. Just an obviously horrific and sad, sad uh, story here. 22 people losing their lives because of, as you said, gross negligence on the part of the, the people who claim to have worked on this thing. And ultimately the business owner who is, let's face it, he's just being cheap. He's just trying to cut costs. Um, maybe this vehicle was was damaged in such a way that it just couldn't be um, recovered, right? Um, and he would have to just take a loss on the vehicle being cooked. Uh, or maybe he just straight up didn't want to pay for new brakes, which just, I mean, that is just an awful, awful reality to face um, for the families of the people yes. who passed away. That these folks would still be here today, but for some cheapness or greed and some negligence. It's really, really, really unfortunate. Yeah, very much so. Um, I do expect to see lawsuits against uh, the government coming soon. 